Hey guys, go to YouTube. So I'm here. I thought I'd give you guys a quick little tip. Uh, uh, I've got a few questions about using microphones, uh, recording your audio differently, and then syncing it up. Um, I've been doing this because I record my. Right now I'm recording both together, but when I'm doing anything else, I will um, I record my audio using a good microphone on one computer then I have my camera recording the video then you have to sync them all together and if you're using two or three cameras doing different stuff how you get everything synced now the easy way to kind of do it is to basically say marker be quiet for a second then <laughs> clap your hands and when you go through the thing you hit the clap when your hands get together you that's where the clap is Movie people have been using this. I'm sure y'all have seen these before. These are called clapper boards. Now, what you do is, uh, same deal, you know, if you have different scenes, date, and all this, what take it is. And you go marker. And when that hits in there, you'll have a quiet line. So you will try to make the sound of the click all hit at the same time. Now, there's other little tricks. Uh, Sometimes movie people, they they have to do it at the end of the scene. You usually do it at the beginning of the scene. You do it like that. But if you do it at the end of the scene, you'll have it upside down. And if you, another little thing to do, if they're not recording sound, they're going to put it in post, they'll put their hand up here like that. And they'll at the beginning of each scene. So if you're doing a bunch of clips, you can pretty much say what clip, what scene, what take, blah, blah, blah. And it'll be written over here. You say it, it'll come up on the mic. Then when you go marker, then you'll you'll look for it because marker is kind of a uh, okay. Here it comes. Now your audio software, mine does. I can actually see the spike, and I record an audio through my camera, so I'll see the spike. So another easy way is. You stretch the timeline out a lot, and you just match the spikes up. So I really don't have to match. Go keyframe, keyframe to get that right there and get that spike right there. But that is how you do it. Uh, you can use your hands. Uh, this is like five or six bucks online. This is pretty much a toy. I mean, you can build anything. They got you can spend sixty, seventy dollars for one. But this is one for like chalk and stuff. But all you do is just. You know what marker? Because it might take a second, a few minutes. I'll turn my camera on and I gotta work a few things up. Then I get my sound on and everything else. Then I can do all that. And so then you, when you put it all on your editing software, you have to mount. You know you don't want you to look like you like some kung fu movie. Blah, 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 blah. You know the, the lips don't match and all your actions don't match. So just do it one time. Don't go. Because you might click it on the, you might edit on the wrong time. So basically, when you go, go to marker, go to click it, just do it, do it one time. So if you do it twice, you might put it on the wrong one, and everything goes. So don't just do it the one time. And this is for the end of the scene if you want to do it afterwards. All right, that's how you use pepper boards. All right, like a bump.